Morning, Callum. Morning. Uh, we're going to Saturday's game with Kelty Hearts. So just a case of go out one, see what happens. Yeah, I think so. I think it's all you can do. Uh, you know, we said start. We're going to try and target nine points. You know, uh, obviously the result against Hibs obviously wasn't as what we wanted, but it's a tough game. You know, all we can do is win our home game to go. Uh, it's the first time I've actually played at Leicester uh, on Tuesday night there, so uh, it was good to play there. Pitch is good, good wee atmosphere. So uh, hopefully we can create that again on Saturday uh, and go and get three points. Do you do you try and score as many goals as possible? Well, obviously you do, but uh, but do you send out an even more attacking team? Eh, I'm not sure what I you know at the moment we've obviously got a few niggly injuries. Uh, people coming in who are probably not quite fit enough to play, so we'll probably short probably two or three bodies or maybe four or five bodies uh, at the moment. So I think for me it's just make sure everybody's fit, everybody's ready to go. Uh, might make a few changes uh, from the game, uh, but I thought some of football was good uh, on Tuesday night, so quite pleased with that. And just to make sure everybody's okay, you know, I think it's important we get three points, but it's also we've got a big game coming up Friday as well, and make sure everybody's ready for the start of the season. Obviously, Kelly Hurt Hart sent out a bit of a warning last week by beating Hibs. Yeah, I know, uh, good team, you know, good players, good experienced players in the team. You know, there's, there's right through the middle of the spine, they've got some good players in there, uh, so we've got to make sure uh, we're ready. Uh, it'll be a tough game for us. You know, uh, I think that this, the group stages can show you. You know, it's all they're always tough. It's always difficult games, and uh, we need to make sure we're ready for the, the game Saturday. Yeah. You talked in Tuesday about potentially having a couple of signings, paperwork issues holding them up. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so paperwork probably fitness issues as well. I think sometimes when you you get players at this time of the, the uh, sort of the window and this time of season, you know, a lot of boys who've been here worked extremely hard, extremely fit. Uh, other guys who're not able to train who you're trying to sign, uh, and we've not got enough game time. You know, I think I obviously saw Cammy Kerr, I thought he was he was really good. I watched the game back again. I thought his experience, his voice. His uh, versatility as his well. His versatility as well, so it's a big thing. Uh, I think Zach as well's movement was really good. Uh, we probably need to learn a little bit more how we use Zach. Uh, the boys will need to know exactly what he does and you know watch the game back and his movements is superb. You know, sometimes we need to play the ball over the top or little slight passes down the side from. Uh, that's where his strength is. Uh, so again all these guys are getting fitter and stronger. Again, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, if not Saturday, uh, definitely the start of next week. You know, definitely want two or three in. Uh, you can obviously build that squad up. Uh, some good performances. Lee McLeish again is getting stri- fitter and stronger. Again, so there's a lot of good things uh, at the moment. The concern is at the back. You know, it just seems to be one of those things that you know you lose a player, then you lose another one, then you lose another one. So uh, Lewis Reed might be available for for Saturday. Uh, well, Tizard. Again, not as bad as, as we first Good. thought, so I think it's only a little tweak. So uh, we're hoping that uh, if he does miss Saturday, he'll be okay for the following Friday. Good. Having watched the game back, and, and also if you cast your mind back to, to Peter Head, um, what does Jack Turner need to do to be ordered a penalty? I know, exactly. Could be a little bit quicker than he maybe get a goal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's one of those things you always look, you always look at it and you know, uh, I thought it was a Stonewall penalty at the time and watching it back, I think it was a Stonewall penalty as well. So the only question was, was maybe slightly out to the box, first contact. He uh, didn't contact, no contact with the ball, so it's, it's when did he contact the players? So one of those things in games, isn't it? You know, so uh, hopefully we'll get a few coming up, in the, especially in the league, we'll get a few decisions going that way. And uh, I think Josh Scott's strike was a bit better than you described it. Yeah, I don't think so, no. I don't think so. I washed it back. I washed it back. Still off his shin. Then he rolled down his shin and off his foot. And then the net. Nah, listen, I'm pleased. You know, we ask, when we play that wing back, people think it's a defensive system. Uh, I think you can see there, you can, you can very quickly turn it into a system, I thought. Uh, Roddy McGregor and Jack uh, turn them in those positions. I'm making the box. You've got Dom, you've got Zach, you've got Louis getting chances, you've got Josh Scott getting chances. So there's loads of bodies. So. When it's played right and you're you're, on, you're playing well, uh, it can turn into attacking formation. Excellent. Good luck on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you.